We're looking at white privilege. That's a complex concern and issue. But we have begun to unpack it and hope that by the end of 2011, we will have a strategy. We're inviting bishops to be in conversation with us and other leaders from across the church to join the General Commission on Religion and Race in a deep conversation about how we have been impacted as a denomination by white privilege. The issue of racial equity is at the heart of how you begin to unpack white privilege. So we're excited about presenting in, in January of 2012 a strategy for dealing with white privilege by looking at racial equity. And we're excited about that. It's a little early, but I can say that as we've worked with some consultants who have done some effective work on white privilege and racial equity, we're being challenged to partner with those who hold most authority and most power in the life of the church. Power can be a gift and it can be a burden. We believe that white privilege is a burden for some and an oppressive force upon the life of others. It's both negative in those aspects. If we can deal with our white privilege and release it, the church will experience healing all the way through. And who doesn't want the mercy and the grace of God's healing?